Hi everyone, next topic is pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. Before starting the topic, I would like to mention that all these PPT would be uploaded on my Facebook page and my uh, Telegram channel. Okay, so you can download from there. So no need to write, just listen carefully. Okay, so I have already told you that glucose is having six carbon atom converted to pyruvate by glycolysis and glycolysis occur in cytosol. Then this pyruvate enter the mitochondria with the help of H and import. I told you pyruvate parker jata hai. Yes, will enter the mitochondria and further metabolism of pyruvate will take place in mitochondria. Okay, so this reaction catalyzed by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex is taking place in mitochondria. This is mitochondria and this enzyme is present at inner mitochondrial membrane and the starting point is pyruvate. Pyruvate is having three carbon atom. In this reaction, this pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A. Acetyl coenzyme is having two carbon. So when three carbon compound is converted to two carbon compound, there must be removal of C carbon. This is removed in the form of CO2 and removal of CO2 is called decarboxylation. Okay. The enzyme is pyruvate dehydrogenase and you all know wherever there is dehydrogenase, dehydrogenase means removal of hydrogen. Hydrogen is taken up most commonly by NAD. So in this reaction, it is taken up by NAD to form NADH. And you all know removal of hydrogen is called oxidation. So in this reaction, there is oxidation, there is decarboxylation oxidation that's why this reaction is example of oxidative decarboxylation and the cofactor for oxidative decarboxylation frequently asked question neat pattern and fmg that is b1 cofactor for oxidative decarboxylation is b1 that is thiamine and active form of b1 is thiamine pyrophosphate thiamine pyrophosphate question or thiamine diphosphate Okay, so oxidative decarboxylation, the cofactor is B1 and this reaction is irreversible taking place in mitochondria means acetyl coenzyme A cannot be converted back to pyruvate. Clear? Now let me tell you something different from the topic that is simple decarboxylation. This is oxidative decarboxylation I mentioned. At the same time, you will remember few reactions where there is simple decarboxylation. Yes, simple decarboxylation, the cofactor is B6. Means there will be no oxidation. Only decarboxylation would be there. That is called simple decarboxylation. But the cofactor is B6. Question, active form of B6 is pyridoxal phosphate. And the example of reaction are, first is histidine to histamine. How questions are asked? Questions are asked like this. Histamine is converted to histamine, histidine is converted to histamine by decarboxylation. They will not tell you this is simple decarboxylation or oxidative decarboxylation. You must know. This is example of simple decarboxylation. The cofactor would be B6. Question is asked that pyruvate is converted to acetyl coenzyme A by decarboxylation. The cofactor would be, you know that this is example of oxidative decarboxylation. So enzyme would, sorry, cofactor would be B1. Another example of simple decarboxylation is glutamate to GABA. Another example is tryptophan to serotonin. There are three common reactions on which questions are asked. These are examples of simple decarboxylation. In B1 deficiency, as you know, B1 is required for oxidative decarboxylation. If this B1 is deficient, pyruvate will not be converted to acetyl coenzyme pyruvate will not be metabolized means pyruvate will be converted to lactate i told you that pyruvate if further metabolism will not occur it may be diverted towards lactate so in b1 deficiency extra pyruvate will be converted to lactate lactic acidosis lactic acidosis and you know vitamin b deficiency cause berry 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 Berry. Frequently asked question, recently asked question in FMG and NEAT pattern. Yes, berry berry, yes, lactic acidosis occur because pyruvate is diverted towards lactate synthesis, lactic acidosis or pyruvate is not metabolized. Clear? Now, Pyruvate dehydrosis complex, I told you that is a multi-enzyme complex. It is having three enzymes. That is, those are pyruvate dehydrogenase, dihydrolipoyl 
ट्रांसएसिटाइलेज डाइहाइड्रोलाइपोइल डीहाइड्रोजिनेस फाइव कोएंजाइम्स आर देयर फर्स्ट इज थाइमिन डाइफॉस्फेट एंड पाइरोफॉस्फेट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दिस इज एक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ विटामिन बी1 FAD this is active form of vitamin B2 NAD this is active form of vitamin B3 coenzyme A is active form of vitamin B5 and the last one is lipoamide or lipoic acid these are five coenzyme for pyruvate dehydrogenase complex recently asked question in FMG that they give FAD or FMN both then answer would be FMN is not cofactor. The cofactor is FAD. Okay. Wherever you find oxidative decarboxylation, B1 is cofactor. Wherever you find FAD, B2 would be cofactor. Wherever NAD is there, B3 would be cofactor. Wherever coenzyme is there, B5 would be cofactor. There is no relation itself, but you can remember these five coenzymes are also cofactor for Krebs cycle. Krebs cycle. I will discuss again with Krebs cycle. Now, inhibitors of pyruvate dehydrogenase can be inhibited by end product, as you know, acetyl coenzyme and NADH are end product, so can be inhibited. Another very important concept is pyruvate dehydrogenase is active if enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase kinase. I told you. Kinase is transferase, it transfer phosphate group. So kinase transfer a phosphate group to this. You can write here only. If kinase transfer a phosphate group to pyruvate dehydrogenase, it becomes phosphorylated and now it becomes inactive. We found that in our body there are many enzymes which are phosphorylated, and when they are phosphorylated, they may be activated or they may be inhibited. There is no rule. You are to mug up which enzymes are activated by phosphorylation, which enzymes are inhibited by phosphorylation. We found that pyruvate dehydrogenase is inhibited by phosphorylation. Glycogen synthase is also inhibited or inactivated by phosphorylation. But glycogen phosphorylase is activated by phosphorylation. So these are direct question. Okay, we will use in glycogen metabolism for the time being. Pyruvate dehydrogenase and glycogen synthase are inactivated by phosphorylation. Yes, glycogen phosphorylase is activated by phosphorylation. Direct question. Now, a question, simple question. Yes, pyruvate utilization in tissue is decreased in. Yes, you all know that berry berry, there is vitamin B1 deficiency, B1 is cofactor for oxidative decarboxylation, pyruvate is not metabolized by oxidative decarboxylation in berry berry, so pyruvate will be converted to lactate, lactic acidosis would be there in berry berry. Yes, when you solve question, all options are important. Yes, pernicious anemia, B12 deficiency. Scurvy, frequently asked question, vitamin C deficiency. Pellagra niacin deficiency. Okay, so in pellagra there is dermatitis and this lead to yes, casual lack appearance. Recently asked question in many uh, exams that is casual lack appearance or casual collar appearance. Yes, look at the screen. Yes, niacin. Is synthesized from tryptophan. I told you that tryptophan is converted to, you all know, converted to serotonin and converted to melatonin, also converted to niacin. Okay, and a frequently asked question that 60 milligram of tryptophan give rise to. 1 milligram of niacin. 60 milligram tryptophan, it's a very old question, okay? 60 milligram of tryptophan give rise to 1 milligram of niacin. Now, when we are talking about uh, pellagra, we can't ignore heart nub disease. In heart nub disease, there is good mnemonic. Before mnemonic, let me explain that in heart nub disease, this is autosomal recessive disorder. At chromosomal, chromosome number 5, there is some disorder, okay? Gene defect, yes, that lead to 
defect in absorption of neutral amino acid just like tryptophan so it will not be absorbed at the level of intestine and at the level of renal tubule when it is not absorbed in intestine there will be tryptophan deficiency tryptophan you all know can give rise to niacin so if tryptophan is not absorbed that lead to niacin deficiency and pellagra like dermatitis when these tryptophan or neutral amino acids are not absorbed at the level of renal tubule then these amino acid will be excreted in urine that will lead to amino acid urea and there will be pellagra like symptoms in pellagra there is 3d yes or d3 yes these three 3d are diarrhea dermatitis and dementia the example of dermatitis one is yes castle neck appearance now another four sometimes 4d you will find in question 4d is death okay so how to remember autosomal recessive naam apne aap bataega name will tell you itself it is autosomal recessive defect in the absorption of tryptophan or neutral amino acid and you for neutral amino acid okay trip transport of tryptophan in intestine and renal tubule yes these are neutral amino acid okay deficiency in intestine if ab not absorbed that lead to deficiency of niacin and pellagra pellagra like dermatitis in renal tubule if it is not absorbed transported then it will lead to amino acid it will lead to amino acid urea and you can remember p4 pellagra like symptom okay if ar autosomal recessive t4 transport of tryptophan defect neutral amino acid or non polar amino acid pellagra like symptom one more question if you want to remember it is present yes disorder of chromosome 5 chromosome 5 p4 5 in hindi okay thank you